All right, guys, I saw these, and they looked interesting. I've been wanting to try them for a while. You see stuff like basketball, baseball, gymnasts. I've seen some football. But then, what do we have over here? That's E, that's C, that's 3. That's EC3, the NWA World Champion at the time. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to open these up and see exactly what we get in there. So, it looks like... There's a whole bunch of cards in there. We're going to open these up. So that's what they look like. I'm going to open up the first set right now. These retail base set. I don't know. Does that mean that I get the whole volume 5 base set? We're going to find out, guys. Don't go anywhere while I try to rip these open. For those of you watching on the short, make sure you watch the long version. If I can get these open. Some of you might have been watching saying, this guy's dumb. They already seen these cards. There is a rip right there. And we got it open. So now we're getting into the packs, guys. We're going to see exactly what these look like. I'm very, I'm very interested. And they make these things harder to get into. <clears throat> Every single time. I'm going to have to rip it to get in there and we're in. All right, here we go. Volume 5. We got Richard Mandela. Like the Mandela effect? Probably not. Eric Croach. These are cool looking cards. Kaylee Humphreys. By the way, this is what the backs of these cards look like. Tom Glavin. Andreskar Corellin. Let's see who he is. International Federation of Associated Wrestling Style. So this is amateur wrestling from 92. Won consecutive gold medals in 88, 92, and 96. So, wow. He suffered his first defeat at the 2000 Games. So this man was a monster. Three gold medals over, what, 12 years. Ed DeHalty. Ozzy Smith. We know Ozzy Smith. Lee Kiffer. Chris Mullen. Kai Lenny. Looks like a surfer. Ricky Williams. We know Ricky Williams. Bill Walton. Ronaldo Nahamian. World champion in two sports. Super Bowl with the 49ers. And then the high hurdles. That's cool. Dominique Wilkins. Chris Mullen. Babe Dittrickson. Kirby Clevy and Torch. I like Torch. Torch is my favorite card. Lester Pickett. Babe Dickerson again. Vinny Testaverde. We know him. Tiafo Stevenson. Bill Walton. David Foster. I don't know who he is. Wood chopping. Wow. David is the first of any athlete to win a thousand championships. And he did it in Axe Wood Chopping. Wow. Adam Andre. A Barry Sanders card. We like Barry Sanders around here. Let's show you what Barry Sanders is all about. After his record-setting 1988 season as an Oklahoma State, Barry Sanders was drafted in the first round of 1989 NFL Draft by the Detroit Lions. Over the next 10 years, fans of all around the country were lucky to watch the most exciting runner in the league. During his first season, Barry posted 1,470 rush yards and was named Offensive Rookie of the Year. He would improve on the rushing mark in six of the next nine seasons, including a 2,053-yard season in 97 when he was named MVP. Overall, Sanders ran for a total of 15,269 yards, which currently ranks fourth on the all-time best 
His 99 rushing scores are a top 10 mark as well. Four-time NFL rushing leader, Sanders was introduced into the NFL Hall of Fame in 2004, and the man is a beast. Barry freaking Sanders. But you want to talk about my guy? What you gonna do, brother? You know I'm coming for you, brother, with my 24-inch pythons, dude. We got the Hawkster, Hawkamania, running wild here on these sports kings. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this. He number 163, Hulk Hogan, the most popular wrestler of all time. I don't know about the most popular if you're a wrestling fan. That might be, I don't know, if the glass breaks and you hear Stone Cold come out, that might be your guy. Some people might have John Cena as their favorite. Some people might have The Rock as their favorite. But it's undeniable, this man is the most recognizable man in all of professional wrestling of all time. You could go to where they don't have televisions, never had televisions, show this man. They will say, oh, that is Hulk Hogan. Most popular wrestler of all time, Hulk Hogan is a huge reason for the explosion of wrestling viewership and attendance during the 1980s with a larger-than-life persona. Fans could not help but root for the flamboyant fighter with the 24-inch prythons, brother. Hogan is the first to have won consecutive Royal Rumbles, where he came out in 90 and 91. As proof of his popularity, his match against Andre the Giant in 88 still ranks first all-time for the television attendance of 36 years later. The Hulkster is a six-time WWF champion, holding the title at one time for four straight years. Initially inducted into the WWF Hall of Fame in 2005, he would get in a second time 15 years later with the new, 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 new world order. That is Hulk Hogan, Hulkamania running wild. We got another Barry Sanders, so there's there's variants. Wow, look at that. That's cool. We got a variant. I wonder, does it say the same thing on the back? It doesn't. Before his weekly electrifying runs in Detroit, Sanders' record, perhaps the greatest season for collegiate running backs have ever had. He started the year. For the Oklahoma State Cowboys by returning the opening kickoff for a touchdown, a feat he also accomplished in the prior year. By the end of the season, Barry had established most of his 34 NCAA records, some of which still stand today. And this way to secure the 1988 Heisman Trophy. Today, including the bowl game, Sanders posted 2,850 rush yards with 44 total touchdowns which remains an NCAA record. It's a mystery why it took him 15 years before he got into the NCAA Football Hall of Fame. So this is cool. So this is about his college days, and this is about his days as a Lion. That is awesome, you guys. Alan Tremel. Brittany Bow. Bill Sims. Tick Tickest. Asifa. I hope I didn't butcher that. I really didn't mean to. I'm going to say it's Tigist Asifa. And there's the man I pulled for. There's the whole reason I wanted this box. There he is. That's a cool card. That is the one and only EC3. For those of you who knew TNA, trouble, 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 trouble. Anyway, EC3. Let's see what it says about him. Debuting in 2009 for the WWF under the name Derek Bateman, EC3 left the group in 2013 for a stint which total nonstop action where he wrestled as Ethan Carter III. To be fair, he was not in TNA. He was in Impact Wrestling, but we go on. Uh, while at TNA, he won the World Heavyweight title twice and held the Impact Grand Championship belt in 2017. The heavyweight champion returned to WWE in 2019, where he won the 24-7 title four times in just over two years. After departing WWE in 2020, EC3 controlled his own narrative, participating in a series of three the narrative matches. Free the narrative matches. He joined the NWA, which is now under Billy Corgan, in 2022, winning the heavyweight title, which he relinquished in order to battle and defeat Tyrus for the NWA World Television title. And so there it is. There's EC3, and we're going to put him next to the Hulkster. This is a long video, but I'm sorry. What about Gertrude? 
Enter. Wade Boggs. And Naticia Lucan. So that is all for the regular pack that came in this crate little thing. And that came in this box. But there's something else in this box, folks. And we're going to take a look at it on the next video. Thanks.